Hey, pistol shot number 10, we're gonna go back to that box descend drill from several posts ago. So get your box ready, whatever it was you had used before is fine. The chair, coffee table, table, or the plyo box. We're gonna add two progressions to that drill today. As a uh, quick review, especially if you didn't do that first post, that the level of box that you should have should be at least your knee height, and it could be really high, longer than the length of your legs, okay? So a real plyo box would, be great, would work great on this. I'm just too lazy to pull that out. So we're gonna to continue to use my chest, um, and then I'll give you a way to look at the the advantages of whatever height that you're using, okay, which applies to any sort of variations in the tools that you use. We're always looking for the advantages to focus on. So, um, yeah, knee height at least. If you have a solid side, then that will be helpful for you if you need it. And the um, drill, remember, was not so much where it was going to look like a full pistol, but we were working on elements and components of that pistol. That first descent drill focused on the top portion as we start to descend, and we worked on the exaggeration of the hinge. And that meant that where, where we are focusing more on the hinge only over that working leg, not worried at all about that trailing leg. So you would start with a strong stance and we were hinging and hinging and hinging and hinging and hinging and hinging all the way down until if you went, you know, as, as low as you could go, you would end up with your entire abdomen pretty much resting, whoops, right over this, uh, this thigh. And that part was the emphasis on that first drill. The second and third variations I'm gonna show you now, the emphasis is going to be on the ascent. What's going to remain the same with all these drills is that we're not too worried yet about what's happening with that trailing leg at all. It could be, you know, going straight down if you're comfortable, it could be forward, it could even trail back, all right? Whatever is comfortable, let that one, uh, let the worry about that one go. The reason why we're doing the box drills is that it allows us to work on certain elements of the pistol, uh, especially the strength and balance portion without having to have full thoracic or ankle mobility yet, okay? So that's why we work these drills. And the first variation I'm gonna show you is where once we do the exact same thing, where we're trying to at least keep the, the knees over the toes, by the way, okay? So don't worry about it going beyond the toes yet if you don't have that full ankle mobility. But we are going to focus on, after we descend to whatever is our in range here, we're going to focus on, after we step down, sorry, so we go down to our in range and we step off and step down, whether you fully have to step down or whether you could just kind of be on the on the toes or on the ball of your foot, we are going to focus on pressing up through this standing, uh, through that elevated heel, okay, versus elevated leg heel versus pressing off this floor. So what we're trying to avoid is using the momentum of pressing off this floor. We want to focus more on having your um, elevated leg do that work. So again, that forward arm position is for counterbalance and pressing straight up. So if you were to step off completely, okay, you still want to shift yourself back over this bent leg, okay, before you press up. The second variation or the second progression to this is that we're doing the exact same thing as we go down. We just want to try not to touch that trailing leg to the ground at all, thereby progressing to using more strength, okay? So that would look more like this. You would hinge down, hinge down, and try not to let this leg touch. So whether it bends back or bends or, or extends forward, try not to let it touch. 
and then you'll end up using more of your uh, strength on that working leg. Now, if you end up being able to go all the way down to that full pistol here, that's the only time where it kind of makes a difference uh, on the height that we're using, okay? So the advantage of using the lower box is that you'll kind of force yourself to progress to getting into that shape, okay? Because that would be actually the next progression, um, is that we actually start focusing a little bit more on this trailing leg to come forward and forward and forward and forward and forward here, okay? But you could also come all the way down and not worry about this leg and press up, okay? So that will save you as well. But if you're high up, you have the advantage. Um, if you don't have the, the strength yet, to let this leg trail down, all the way down, like the full length, okay, of that thing without having to step off. However, you might find that the higher box messes with your sense of being able to hold the balance, okay? So if you're using a high box, just take advantage of the fact that you have more room to clear for that bottom leg. If you're using a low box, take advantage of the fact that you don't have to worry as much up as uh, for the balance, okay? And that you can kind of force yourself to progress a little bit faster. I don't want to say force, but you know, mm, mentally kind of start working on um, trying to get that leg a little bit in forward ahead of you just so you know you're kind of in the bottom position of the full pistol now if you find that in either of these drills that your balance was the biggest issue whether you really were wobbling or it's more mental um, about being on one leg go ahead and have a wall or something that you could tap down on or tap onto I say tap because just like a little bit of a, a, a tap on it should give you mental support. You don't want to be leaning into that support, okay? The other thing you could do if balance and or strength is an issue is to use the solid surface of that side and this was a tip I gave on the prior post as well, is that you get to use the solid surface to let this trailing leg, the inside of that trailing leg, um, slide down okay so go ahead and slide down again even though it's not a real hard push against it just a tiniest bit will give you both mental and physical support okay that you don't need to bring up as much strength okay other thing you could try for balance remember i said this is counterweight now it seems intuitive or counterbalance but it seems counterintuitive but we're going to load that counter balance with weight, okay? So if you use a weight plate or a dumbbell, a, a single one, so that you could have both hands on it, that will help you more than trying to hold two and then also having to worry about trying to hold those two arms evenly. Just a two arm hold on a single weight. So even though we're loading here, which would make it seem harder, the counterbalance of having this weight in front is going to help that movement become more smooth, okay? And you're getting that little bonus work. So there's always advantages to any sort of the, the modifications, okay? Just be aware that nothing that we we're doing on the box is actually a assisted pistol. We're just working on elements of the pistol and being able to focus here on the fact that we don't have to have full ankle or uh, thoracic spine mobility because we're working on that on the side hopefully while still drilling the strength and the uh, some of the re mechanics required for a full pistol okay so give the variations a try don't worry so much again about the height you'll just adjust accordingly and of course safety first so if you feel you know very much like you're gonna fall or you're gonna wobble then the, just start with the tiniest um, 
variation of just working on a very low step. Okay, so if you have a stairway, that's fine. You're just working on this sort of step down movement, okay? That's just the hinge, okay? But you're, get, you're getting that one leg working and, oh, I can't see my feet. And you're getting the hinge work on oh, the stand left leg, okay? Just to hinge and tap back, tap back. I'm focusing on keeping that weight shifted over that working leg, okay? And the knees not caving in. So if this is where you're at, great, okay? <laughs> Anybody, you know, could do that drill for long enough and get all the benefits of alignment as well as balance, as well as strength. And then you could also load those up there's, there's no end to the variations that you can come up with. I bet I gave you two main progressions and variations, so something's gotta stick for you. Give it a try.